Due to the efforts of Cao Pi, heir to the Cao throne, and many others, Yuan Shao was eliminated. With Hebei and the Central Plains under his control, Cao Cao had amassed the largest force in the land. Next, he turned his steely gaze toward the south. There, the major figures included Liu Biao in Jing, Liu Zhang in Yi, and Sun Quan in Jiangdong. Cao Cao decided to attack Jing as his first target. Liu Biao was killed during the initial attack, and his successor Liu Zong agreed to surrender to Cao Cao. However, Cao Cao did not let down his guard and continued to advance his army to Jing. The people of Jing trembled in fear before him. Without a doubt, Liu Bei would feel pity for the people and throw himself into the fray. Learning of Liu Bei's whereabouts, Guan Yu left Cao Cao and went to rejoin his sworn brother. Together with the peasants, Guan Yu fled from Cao Cao's advance and made his way toward Jiangling. This time, Cao Cao was determined to put an end to the meddling Liu Bei and finally realize his ambition. To that end, he would go to any lengths necessary. Cao Cao ordered Zhang Liao to give pursuit. For it was now that the hero of chaos was about to transform into something decidedly less heroic. A new world lay just before them. Zhang Liao's fierce pursuit forced Liu Bei's forces to scatter. Liu Bei himself managed to escape to Jiangsha. Cao Cao secured his hold on Jing and immediately moved to apply pressure on Sun Quan in Jiangdong. With his giant navy, he filled the banks of the Changjiang. If he could defeat Sun Quan and Liu Zhang of Yi province, his conquest would be complete. Xu Zhu and Cao Cao's other generals could almost picture the day when their long journey would come to an end. Little did they know that lying in wait for them was a secret plot by the strategists Zhuge Liang and Zhou Yu. Cao Cao would need to summon all of his might to bring his plans to fruition. For his destiny would soon be decided here, along the banks of Cherbi. Tian Wei, Lord Cao Cao is amazing. He's nearly conquered the land. And when he does, we'll have all the rice fields we can tend. I hope you look down and bless our crop. But I have a bad feeling about things. By keeping one's spirit calm, any obstacle can be overcome. You heard what he said! Stay calm at all times! Those fools! Why would they fight a battle they have no chance of winning? Lord Cao Cao's land will soon be a reality, and I'll be able to go home at last. Lord Xu Huang is the perfect warrior. He is strong, and yet he is always looking to better himself. When our lord ceases control of the land, everything will be different. But I don't suppose I'll be able to relax. Lord Xu Huang... Why didn't they just surrender? They can't possibly think they can win. Sun Quan is still young. No doubt he's run into this battle without thinking it through. 
I saw you fight against Gao Lan at Guan Du, my lord. They say it was a draw, but you were much stronger. We have a decided advantage over the enemy. However, battles are won on more than just troops alone. The enemy possesses the renowned strategists Juga Liang and Zhou Yu. I wonder what they're plotting. Soan have joined forces. Even rats will fight back against the cat when cornered. We must proceed with caution. If we win this battle, my ambition will be realized. Choo Choo! Make sure that no harm befalls me. My pleasure, Lord Cao Cao. Leave it to me. Victory here is indispensable to my goal of supremacy. Zhou Yu leads the enemy. We must claim his head. I bring news. Our central forces are being pushed back. Zhou Yu himself leads our forces in the center. We cannot allow him to survive. Future. Pay the enemy commander a friendly visit. I shall return. Remember this: the first head I shall see. Change. One guy. The rest is up to you. 
The enemy is incapable, I see. But they will not stop my plan. Camp defenses have been wiped out by a fire attack. Masters of fire and of wind. Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang are more impressive than I had imagined. Lord Cao Pi, I'm glad to see you're safe. You stand by my father's side, and yet you were unable to prevent the fire attack? I'm disappointed, Cha Shu. <laughs> Let us not rush to judgment, my lord. But this is no time for admiration. Shu Chu, you must liaise with Lord Cao Cao. How vexing. The wind from the south is spreading the flames. Get out of my way. I want Cao Cao's head, and that alone. I will not get out of your way. My job is to keep my lord safe. Lord, are you okay? Yes, Shu Chu. You must guard my back while we make for the shore. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived. More problematic. The fire is increasing in intensity. Report! The Report! The Allied forces are struggling! Grateful that we still have our lives. Lord Salsa, the boat is being prepared and will be ready shortly. Look out! The heavens have answered us! 
We thank you for coming to our aid. Hear the bells. You know your time is up. Take care of him, Forrest Canyon. I have a feeling he may not be allowed to be ousted. what happens to those that oppose us. My lord, you must escape to safety. We'll stay here and hold off anybody that tries to pursue you. Hmm. It's okay. We can take care of ourselves. It's you that our forces can't do without. We'll hold them off. Quickly, you must flee. I hope everyone is safe. No, for now, my focus must be on Lord Sautza. This is not the end for you, my lord. I still have faith. I don't know if we can get away. How could this have happened? It's all over! I hate to leave Lord Shu Chu behind. But I guess we have no choice. Your Hungry Tiger's strategy to keep Yu Bei and Lu Bu apart was a brilliant idea, my lord. A pity it didn't work. I hope every... The enemy pursuit forces are nearly upon us. We must leave. Very well. Let's go. The enemy has been reading our moves expertly. Luckily, Lord Cao Ren is on his way. Maybe he can help us to save the of the mountains. Surrender or die! this far ahead. I would have placed an ambush unit here. Face me, Salsa, and end your life with honor. I have to stay alive before me. I have come to assist in the battle. My lord, are you safe? Now is our chance to repay our Lord's faith! You are powerless before me! I 
have been bested, but I will have my revenge. I will hold this ground. My lord, you must hurry over the mountain. I will stay with you. Your effort in battle is impressive. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. Powerless before me. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Now is the time to attack! Everybody, to battle! I fear there may be more in store for us yet. I grow weary of your presence. Surrender or die! Powerless before me! I must retreat! This is not the end! My ambition cannot be stopped. I'll show you I've got the brains to go with the first. Use the path at the top of the cliff. I'll stay here. Clean up. I grow weary of your presence. Strategy has proven most medicine today. Behind him lurks the presence of Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang. But the only real obstacle to my triumph is that man. To think that there would be one who could surpass my might. I challenge you to a duel. You are powerless. You have what it takes me. to beat me? Thank you, my lord. Allow me to join you, and together we will make it to safety. An impressive display. My men and I will join you on this road to victory. Surrender or die. I grow weary of your presence. It is easy to work together when you follow my strategies, no?
freedom is near. Come then, just one more push. I grow weary of your presence. Surrender or die. Surrender or die. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. My ambition cannot be stopped. Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. This isn't turning out the way I had hoped. Now is the time to attack! Everybody, to battle this before me! Do you think I'm standing before a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms? Now we're talking. Things are starting to get interesting. It's time to march. Let's go! I will do what I can to keep you safe. right on your tail. Let me take over from here. Very well. Magnificent, Sauron. Our men are exhausted. Just as well, the enemy has not had the foresight to place a unit here. Just as the boss foresaw, stay right where you are, Sapsa! You are powerless for me! I cannot afford to fall here. <laughs> now is the time for my lord's blade to cut deep. You must kill me if you wanted my lord. I grow weary of your presence. I am 
ambition cannot be stopped. You win for now. So my greatest enemy turns out to be you. Go. Is this duty or pity? If anything, it is confidence. I truly believe that Liu Bei will soon soar high above this land. When that day comes, you and I will meet again on even footing. And I will claim the very head from your shoulders. Until we meet again, then. Cao Cao's ambition had been swallowed in a sea of crimson flame. However, he would not abandon his quest. Not until he seized the land that he had fought so long and hard for. Several days after the Battle of Cherbi, he returned to Xu Chang. Thrust! Sweet! And again! Remember the shame of Kirby! Never again! Is that it? Is that all you lot have? Someday soon, your head will be mine. My lord. Wake up. I was dreaming. I thought you were depressed by Cherby. But I see you're relaxed enough to nap. There is no point in crying now. Now is a time for rest. For eating, sleeping, and training for our next battle. <laughs> Cao Cao, Sun Chuan, Liu Bei. Following the Battle of Cherbi, these three men became the center of everything. Cao Ren, charged with the defense of Jiangling, performed admirably against the combined onslaught of Sun Quan and Liu Bei. Even though the city eventually fell to Zhou Yu, he was able to hold out for more than a year. Afterward, Cao Cao again began plotting a campaign to invade the south and sent for Ma Tung. Ma Tung was one of the men involved in the previous attempt to assassinate Cao Cao. Cao Cao was determined to eliminate this possible threat before making his move south. However, his actions would lead to trouble in the west. With his father killed, Ma Tung's son, Ma Chao, gathered an army together with Han Sui and rose up against Cao Cao.
Cao Cao was forced to postpone his southern campaign and instead sent his troops to Guangzhou. He was more than prepared to face his new adversary, a man consumed by the desire for revenge. The strategies of his master tactician at the ready, they came head to head at Tong Gate. I suppose it is from fatigue, but Lord Cao Cao seems to have lost his edge. Really? Well, isn't it the job of a strategist to cover for that? Hmm. It is hard for even me when he does too much. You seem tired, my lord. Joshu, tell me, what strategy have you devised for us? <laughs> 